Uh, it's Dan Gonzalez again with the, the North Division Onion. Uh, our second course uh, today, we're going to do a little grilled corn salad. Um, in Mexico, it's very common to have a uh, corn on the cob on a stick, uh, and it's served with, sounds a little weird, but uh, served with uh, some uh, nice spices and some cream and some uh, cheese. So we're going to make a salad using utilizing that. We're going to go ahead and grill some corn that's got some cilantro on it as well as some salt, or actually some Dan, Uncle Dan's mix with a little bit of oil, and we're going to grill that on the grill. And the salsa verde is going to kind of go over the top. Um, the salsa verde is tomatillos cooked down with some uh, Uncle Dan's uh, country dill. And we're going to incorporate avocados with that and make it nice and uh, smooth so it's almost squeezable. So we're going to go more rustic, more traditional, and we're going to use those, uh, those items to make a nice little salad. Hands always get dirty. That's why we always wear gloves in the kitchen, but don't have any out here, so my hands will get a little dirty. You'd be surprised how well just doing this will mix everything. So these are tomatillos. What we do at the beginning, we get them nice and nice and blaring hot uh, with a little bit of lard in there. When you add them and it kind of sears them, you can see the caramelization on these. Get them all nice and hot and kind of bouncing around the pan a little bit. And then you add a little bit of water, just from regular old tap water. And then I went ahead and added uh, the country dill and reduced that down so it's a nice, charry, delicious tomatillos, uh, tomatillos. And then to this, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients to make that salsa verde that I was talking about earlier. All right, ready to go outside? Okay. So we got the grill going nice and hot. Um, we're gonna add that to the grill. So um, we're gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna kind of get it nice, nice and caramelized on kind of four sides. Obviously the corn's circular so you can't get it perfectly golden brown on all sides, but we'll go ahead and close that. Let that do its thing. Okay, so that mixture that I showed you on the stove, it's kind of cooled down a little bit, which is what you want, because we're gonna puree it in a blender. Pureeing hot stuff in a blender, obviously very uh, very dangerous. So we let, it, let that cool down a little bit. We're gonna take two avocados, kind of cut them down the middle here and Best way to tell if an avocado is ripe is if the back comes off like that. If not, it's probably not ready. All right, so we got both of those in there. So we got our, our mixture, and then I have just crema mexicana, which is, it's a traditional Mexicana. It's sour cream. It's just a little bit thinner. So we're gonna add right around a cup to this. Okay, so we got both of those ingredients. We're gonna take another lime. Okay, so lime nice and half. You might want to use one or two depending on how uh, juicy your limes are, but these ones are very juicy, so one will suffice just fine. Kind of look at your liquid level. We're going to add about a half a cup of water. It's gonna help us get it going. And um, this mixture I did uh, to the tomatillos, I added a cup of water, and then obviously it's reduced down to virtually nothing. All right, so we'll start super slow. As soon as you can see the middle start to sink, you know that it's starting to puree the way you want it to. You kind of help it out a little bit, but so it should be nice and it almost looks like green sour cream, right? Okay. We're flipping the corn. You see that nice, kind of dark on some sides, not really dark on some sides. It's fine. We want some of that char, but we don't want everything to be charred. The chipotle, I can smell the, the chipotle. Again, right there is what you're looking for. We'll say, we'll leave it like this for about five, five more minutes and we'll call it good and we'll take it inside and we'll go ahead and get it all ready for this salad. We got some nice uh, cherry, um, yellow tomatoes, red tomatoes work just as well. So all we're gonna do with these is just cut them all in half. So this time of year, this salad, super easy, super cheap to make. We're gonna take that, again, that chipotle salt mixture that I'm very fond of. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the, the tomatoes with that. 
This is gonna help the tomatoes kind of leach out a little bit of uh, their acidity and kind of break them down a little bit so they won't be the firmest thing. Cause the corn's obviously cooked a little bit, but you want the, the, the corn to have more bite than you do with the tomatoes, so. So the corn kind of has this natural thing. You just kind of stay on it, stay on the side, go all the way down and there. So then again, you're getting whole kernels of corn like you would see in the frozen section. You want it to be like room temperature, slightly warm. Um, but for our purposes today, nice and warm. And also too, for that matter, if you want to serve this salad like the next day, but I think it's just as delicious cold. I got some queso fresco. You can find this in any uh, traditional Mexican store um, or even the mark or grocery, big grocery stores are starting to carry it now. For those of you in the Spokane area, most of the produce and everything I bought was from De Leon. So the cheese and all that stuff. Obviously I cut that in half. We'll cut it like that again. So this chunk right here, we're gonna use for the top of the salad, kind of like to garnish it, do a little bit more. And this we're gonna crumble inside. And queso fresco, super soft cheese. So you just take it with your fingers, kind of just mix it up like that, really easy. Okay, so we're gonna mix that all together like so. And then we're also gonna add just a half bunch of cilantro. Nice fresh cilantro to kind of blow things up. So now I'm gonna add some more of Uncle Dan's Chipotle mix. The corn has a nice flavor, but we're gonna just blow it up a little bit more. So we got it like that. We're gonna add three nice scoops of this. So that's all together. Mix it up. And now we are ready to taste it. Make sure it tastes good before. I mean, I tasted it. It's got the nice cheese and everything. The chipotle is coming through. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. And again, it's all based on what you like. Some people like more sodium than less, but Nice little corn salad here. Ooh. And which of the Uncle Dan's products is this in? Got both. Uh, we used the, the, the Chipotle dill, or no, sorry, not the, the dill in the- uh, Chipotle? In this one right here, and then the Chipotle on the corn and actually in the salad. Ah, great. So, so you have the first honors. It's be nice and creamy and- Sure smells good. in with this? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's where the dill flavor is coming yeah. from. Oh. And you should have the, the back wonderful. of it should be nice and chipotle. Wow. Well, I know this group's going to look forward to getting this one. When I go out there, I should have a drool cloth on because I'll be salivating all over myself. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Um, nice grilled corn salad using the Uncle Dan's uh, Chipotle Ranch as a seasoning as opposed to salt and pepper. A little bit of olive oil, cook that. And then the sauce itself has the Uncle Dan's dill with some tomatillos and some uh, avocado. So it's nice and smooth and creamy. And also a little bit of sour cream and it's garnished with uh, queso fresco. So hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely fabulous corn salad. Probably the best corn salad I've ever had. Excellent. This is fantastic. We love the yeah, and just the flavor. This just got a hint of dill in it, but it's fresh and creamy and bright in flavor. It's very filling, and I think the uh, the seasoning is just perfect. It's really good. I don't know what the the cheese is. He said it was a, a Mexican style cheese, but the corn is hearty. It's creamy. 
there's some kind of big fresh lime undertones with the dill of the Uncle Dan's dressing. It's a, it's a wonderful salad. Uh, when you agree, I, I'd like to see this as a side dish, you know, um, or an entree. Well, it's yeah. delicious because it's almost gone. <laughs> That's always a good testament. Good news, bad news. That's right. That no, is very flavorful. Look, I guarantee this was first class. I've been scraping the plate and I can't really get any more off and there's nothing left, but it was delicious.